I got it. Okay. I'll start it. Start it. Today, I have the chance to get away from the house, to finally get out of the house for a little while and go fishing. And apparently, it's going to be on us to catch our dinner tonight. So... We're gonna go crappy fishing. Yeah. Crappy fishing. It's not crappy. I hope it's not crappy. It's not. Well, see, the thing is, there's people in certain states that call them crappy. I grew up calling them crappy. You call, well, you're from Pennsylvania. I don't know why that. Yeah, it's just weird. Like, Dave of Fever, you call them crappy. I don't know. Anyways, why. so Jacob caught walleye the other day mm -hmm. and didn't save any for me. So. Well, I, I needed a, a little bit of a tester. Yeah. I needed so a little bit of a tester to determine, determine. Brody and I were trying to figure out the first batch, we undercooked, or it cooked about right, but then I wanted a little bit more crisp, so I cooked them a little longer. Long story short, I like the second batch better, but we're just trying to get it Whatever. to Whatever. We got some good tips, too, in the comments of that video, so maybe Talk, we can yeah, do. Yeah, for sure. It's all about the hot sauce, apparently. Well, the hot sauce helps everything out. Okay. So we're going to catch some fish, hopefully, and. Have you caught a crappie before? I don't know. I don't think I, so. I think you've caught bluegill. I know you've caught bluegill. I know you've caught bass, smallmouth, largemouth. I think you've caught a spotted bass. I've gone fishing for them, but I don't know that I've ever actually caught one. Okay. Well, we're going to find out. Today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day. Today is the day. Mm-hmm. It's like Dr. Seuss rhyme. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Let's go. <laughs> let's go before Olivia gets up. All right. Let's roll. All right, we got the cooler packed up. We gotta get the crappie rods together. Hopefully, uh, ooh, it's sunny. Pull up, leash. I got this. Got. We're taking the aluminum. So you guys have been asking about my. I've never been in this. You never been in the aluminum? No. Really? I've never got to go fishing in this. So that's the plan. We're okay. taking taking the little boat today. Let's get right back here. I'm gonna grab one more cooler, just for like fish. I'll tell you guys the reason why. We'll talk here in a little bit. I'll tell you why. You gonna tell them why? Because we're gonna catch so many fish, we need two coolers. <laughs> well, one's for what? Snacks. Food. We're gonna, gonna we got eat actually, all the food. We got two coolers in there right now. We got a backup. All right, I got. I gotta do some stuff. So I gotta move some stuff around. Hold up. Hold up. We need to make sure we have crappie stuff. Do you want a bobber or no? I mean, that tells me that I'm catching the fish, right? Does it tell you that you're catching the fish? I don't know if it tells you. I mean, that's the best way for me to know. We're not bass fishing today, so I'm gonna throw excessive. I mean, why wouldn't I want a bobber? I mean, it's a visual thing, like, that I'm, like, I might shoot catching it. Just saying, if we don't get on them, then what? We, we gotta no call, dinner. We gotta call Justin Martin up and tell him, yo, bro, when you then, then just no dinner for us, I guess. All right, just got out here on the water, fixing to make a, a few casts. I think we're probably gonna start on the docks. All right, this is the thing. Bobber fishing for crappie when they're up shallow is like really, really fun. It's is like, it it's, easy though? It can be, so like what happens is like the, the little bobber, you'll see it, like they'll either stop, like I'll show it to you here in a second, but a guy literally grew up doing this. And so this is sort of like the first time I've done this in a long time. So I'm excited to see. Uh, we can catch a few. Okay, so this is like a little small rod, so like just perfect for you. Small, like 30 second and down jig head right here. They got a little bobber. The goal is like sort of see the shadows. I'll Jacob, like... you think I can put it like that? Think I, yeah, yeah right. Here, you just, just start clearly. Right here. Just start right here. All right, what do I do? Reel it. And you're sort of like, watch me do that. Okay, so I'm Jordan jiggling it, and then I stop it, and then I jiggle it, and then I stop it, and then I jiggle it. And, and I now I'm it. not in the shadows. Just see you try it. Yeah, right. Oh my gosh. You do it. Oh. That's a good shot. Jiggle it. Stop Jiggle it. it. Well, get your see, what, what, bobber what, away from mine. All right, let me go first so then I can okay. call where I'm going. Let me call my shot first. Ooh, good shot, babe. Okay. Jiggle it. Pull, pull, pull. No. You see that? No. Mm -mm. You see it? No. Nope. Good cast, babe. Okay, well, this is getting a, it's getting to be a tough deal for me. But what if they're living just beyond the shadow? They could be. They could be on that, be on the shadow life. I thought this was like easier. All right, here we go. Okay, I think I'm in a pinch here. All right, new spot. This spot sucks. Gosh dang it. I mean, what, what? It's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Good cast. 
So that's something they don't do bobber. Everybody doesn't do bobbers. But why? Then why are we doing it? Because bobbers sometimes will keep them in the strike zone a little longer, so you can actually catch them. Also, you get hung up easier. Yeah, just right there. Hold that real quick. Okay. Oh, I'm here. Double. Eh, hold up. I should put it down. You're going to use yours to unhook mine? No, I'm going to put that one in there. Okay. And not spook them. All right, jiggle it. Right here. Lucky shot. Certainly, there's got to be one living right there. <sighs> of course not. Oh, are you are you trying to catch one? Look at this. You could invite me up here. I mean, these fish suck. I mean, seriously. I can do that, right? Go down the middle. Why not? Why didn't you tell me that? I mean, it's not normally that good, but... It might well, be. neither is this. I just saw something jump over there. One, two... Well, that's a nice one. A nice one. Oh my gosh, the bobber's so cute. Come on. Come on. Nope. All right. Come on. Take me to the good stuff, babe. All right, seriously, we got to find some fish. Oh. oh, no, I think I'm just stuck. Well, that, was, that was one. Well, that. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's got him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it was, whoa. that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Woohoo! <laughs> Good job, Ed. All right, unhook it. Let's go. There's a whole wad of them right there. I can feel it. <laughs> All right, let's look like you're in there. This is exhausting. Okay, so like what we're doing right here is we're actually idling a lot of these docks. Like this is like a good looking dock right here. But, um, and so what you'll do is, is like I'll idle just right by these places and I'll just look. Cause like normally there's not just one crappie out there. Actually, you can see there's a few crappie out there on that place. I don't see a ton of them right there, but look, I'll show you. I'll go ahead and mark this guy out here. So there's actually a few of them right there. And what happens that when you see that, I'll grab a marker buoy. You don't have to, but if you're just trying to get your bearings a little bit, it helps. Go ahead and mark that guy we just seen on down scan. I'll see if we can't see him on down scan. See, I feel like there's a few of them there. So hard. What's hard? To cast. I just like to wing it out there, you know? All right, let's roll. Look at those freaking stairs. A lot of them up there. So. Okay, so we're gonna see if this... Oh, okay, I, was about, I, I was about to throw your <laughs> front of the water. Were... I was fixing to. Let's not do that. Right here. I'm playing with uh, Instagram filters. Ooh. All right, tell me what I need to do. This one, I can cast. Oh, this Smart. is the bobber. They gotta be 10 inches. Real, real, real. Oh, oh yeah. Baby. Get the brush pile. Well, shoot. Here, let me see it. Get it undone with my toes. Hold on, wait for a second, we'll get there. See how it points that way? Yes. Cast to like left of it. Perfect. Right. Pull, pull. The cat, pull, pull. There you go, Leash. That's good. Oh. oh, little bluegill. It's okay. Good job. Obviously. I mean, I didn't know. Just, just, just trying to. You need to get out of my way. Dang. You go like right, right by it. Uh, like. Hold up. Yeah, we gotta figure this out though, okay? I am. Are you dead serious? No, I hung up on the brush. Oh. All right, we're back to the docks. We just need to catch a few more. We'll have a decent amount for, uh, you know, for dinner tonight. That's the thing. You don't need a hundred of them, but we probably got, I don't know, probably got six or seven right now. Maybe, maybe even eight. Um, it's been a grind. We each caught our first huh. copy though. I did. I did. It was fun. And so right now I'm just trying to idle some of these docks right. just to make sure. We're good. How are you? Let's see if I can see some. There's a big one. Big and Oh yeah. There we go. Solid one. Heck yeah. I was I had to skip that sucker all the way up underneath that pontoon to get that one to bite. One more. Alright, let's figure this out. I'm not sure if I got that last catch, but hopefully we did. Alright, Leash, come here. So all you gotta do is you hold grab yours. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, this could be just an epic. Epic fail. Okay. 
So what is how to bite? First, you grab your little line, okay. and you put your finger, your pointer finger, right here on the line. Okay, so that's gonna hold it. Okay, yeah. see what I'm saying. So then you point it towards something. Yeah. And then you just let it go. Okay. Now you reel that out of there. There you go. Up. Let go at the same time of everything. Yep. Almost. Yeah. What do you mean almost? I mean, right between them. Almost. But you, yeah, you, exactly what I said I wanted to do. Please go get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat. Take it. Yeah. Look at you. See? It's not you a, can, is it a keeper? Yeah, that's a keeper. Okay, let's see here. Hold up. I did it. All right. It's a 10 and a half incher. All right. Live well. Let's do Open it. Open live well. There you go. Good job. Dang, you're getting the hang of it, Leash. Dude, you're getting the hang of it. Get my ride home. <laughs> gonna get my ride home. All right, let's call it. Let's call it a day, babe. We did good. It's a beautiful day. You caught your first crappie. You caught actually two of them. Yeah. I mean, I they think. They're nice ones too. I, I think we got. I think we got enough for for dinner tonight. Look at that one right there. Look at them chunkers, man. That's like perfect perfect for dinner we'll put those bad boys on ice here in a bit and uh cook them up tonight yeah hell yeah good job oh babe. you just <laughs> <laughs> got her with the wet hand trick it's all good all right so one thing i grabbed some ice real quick pretty that's a pretty nice one up there two three four Let them chill out there for a few hours. That's going to get all that blood out of that meat. And then ultimately, it's going to make it a lot easier to clean this evening more. And then it's going to be, ooh, I can't wait. Hey, what you doing there? You know, I could dig this leftover meat over to a big cat rescue. <laughs> My tigers would love it. So what's her diet normally consist of? My husband, Don. I mean, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I had crappy fillets. That's what I meant. So we just weighed these officially. They're both like pound and a quarters. So the biggest crop I've ever caught really? was, was a pound 89. Oh, oh gosh, was it pound 89? Got me it was on a video we had just on Here? channel a while back. Here? Yeah. Oh. See that right there? Oh, is that the eggs? Yeah. Oh, it was like a caterpillar. Ugh! Jacob Wheeler! Oh my Please. five bucks to eat it. Jacob! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> Just try it. Just try it. Don't you do it. Just try I it. Just hurt myself. <laughs> All right, so we got our fillets right here. We'll sprinkle them with some pepper. Last time it was good, but we didn't have enough salt. The big thing was I tried to eat, go too easy on the on the salt, and that ended up hurting us because Mark was saying, "Hey, you can salt your fish too much. You can't over pepper them." So I was heavy on the pepper, not enough salt. We got we got it. We got a little bit of an idea what we're gonna do this time. We got a little different batter as well. At the end of it all, we're gonna add the Tony Satchery. Last time we used the McCormick's. This time, the crispy fish fry seafood breading mix, Louisiana. Just like that. Here's what it looks like. I think it looks a little bit better than the last one. The only thing I see is like the, some of the pieces have a little bit too much seasoning on them, and that's probably just from them being a little bit too damp on one side but hey we're living and learning let's go see what the wife has to think about these all right y'all we're sitting here with the end result of our catch it looks so good honestly you didn't get checked the walleye sauger out but uh it was decent i think this one might be even better so one bite everybody knows the rules okay so these ones are fresher so you probably want to just grab one of sure. these guys okay Dang, it's really good. Well, it's a good job. One out of ten. It was good. It's good five, it's good seven, it's good twelve. Is it good? I'd say it's like a seven. A solid. It's good. All right. So it's really seven. good. Seven. We got a seven. Is it a seven even? Seven flat? It's a seven even. It's it's good. Okay. It could be better. Seven even. All right. No doubt. Brody, you gotta check it out now. What did Brody. you like put on it? It's super good. Brody, scale one to ten. What, we, what was the last? What was the last rating? Five or six or something. Well, like this is probably like better than that. Yeah, I think it was like. That's why I figured. I was like, a, I was like an average. It's really good. It's like 
I would probably say seven three or seven four. Yeah, seven, seven three, three seven four. Okay, so a that little is a little too much salt. He did I think, I think a, tid, a tad bit more too much salt. It's just sort of like figuring out each batter. So we Which now, the, wait, the key apparently is the hot sauce. So I think lemon pepper might be. A we have four different kinds. We, so we're gonna, I guess, have to try. I don't know. I, I'll tell you, what's your favorite hot sauce? I like the hop sauce. I'll Truly. tell you, I, I will say Louisiana hops hot sauce is like legit. Oh, I could have got some. Louisiana is legit. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we're about to chow down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Real quick, Igloo is doing a promotion. I know a lot of you guys, as well as us, we're locked down right now. We're in quarantine. We're trying to, to make the most of it, you know, and Igloo Coolers, Igloo.com, the Playmate, the OG Playmate, all the profits they make off the Playmate off of Igloo.com, they will donate to the CDC Relief Fund. So that's something that's really, really cool that that company is doing. I'm really proud to be a part of what they got going on. That's something we use their products all throughout the channel and uh, for them to make that step up big deal so if you're gonna want if you're in the market for a cooler make sure to snag one i'll drop the link in the bio below thank you all for watching like comment subscribe all that jazz see y'all next time